Hello everyone, how's it going? It's me Tango Sus back at ya with an hour review. Today we're checking out Takarita Meets Fries, a nice wee short and sweet visual novel with a review copy provided by the good folk at Retalike uh, Games, so big thanks to them for a review copy. So as always, let's go on ahead and hop on right into things with the first positive point being the story. So admittedly, as silly as it sounds, in a good way, mind you, Rose Burt, the developer, uh, she took French fries and turned them into a pretty good story following Takarita as she leaves her underwater kingdom home and soup behind for a wee adventure with her encounter of French fries, or as we say over here in the UK, chips. But yeah, the point is that it was a good story. I enjoyed it. So up next is the soundtrack. It had a nice range of songs, you know, for the background music and all that, which are pretty catchy, so yeah, I, I enjoyed the soundtrack. The last positive point is that it'll prepare you well for lunch, or your dinner, or whatever. Yeah, the food games, I guess, kind of have that effect. Basically, I started playing it before my lunch, and, well, you probably guess it already, but I quite enjoyed my lunch after starting it, as well as ending up completing it after I had my lunch. Which kind of leads me to my final point, if you like collecting platinum trophies or achievements, the game itself can be 100%ed probably around an hour or so, if you take your time to read the story. Otherwise, if you have the skip text option on, you could probably do it in a few minutes. I personally wouldn't recommend that, however, since, as I said, it has a good story to it. Up next is negative points. And if I'm being completely honest, I actually couldn't come across or think of any since admittedly we're mostly neutral areas, which we're gonna go ahead and cover now. And even then, the only neutral area I thought was a character design. Personally, I like the character designs myself, but I reckon some folk might not be too uh, big on the art style that they went for whenever they were doing the game. That said, I liked it myself. So anyway, with all that said, Personally, I believe the game was around the free pound mark last I checked. So yeah, personally, I definitely think it's worth checking out, especially if you like the French fries. So again, big thanks to Retalika Games for a review copy, and a big thanks to you guys for checking out today's video. So that's all from me, Tangosis. Make sure you guys go on ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll check you all out next time, or catch you next time. I mean. When I say check you out, I've got another uh, review on the way, because I can't do any, like, uh, in a row, so to speak. But yeah, that aside, I'll uh, catch you next time.